As part of the armor sets, the new legendary ones that are coming to Outriders World Slayer, we are going to be taking a look at the Trickster Shield Beast. We recently covered the Devastator one, so we have Pyro and Techno after. And just quickly before we get into this one, if you do enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like, sub to the channel, turn notifications on, all support is greatly appreciated, and let's get into it. So, what I mentioned in the other video is the Ascension levels are completely different on the characters. The Devastator was Ascension level 150, the Trickster is 155. But as a Trickster Shield Beast, they went top row of the skill tree, they also went along to Spectre. I think that is that Pax Tree, I think I remember it now. I forgot the name of it in the previous video. You can see on the left hand side all of the Ascension points that they've put into it. Then at the bottom you have the armor and you have the weapons. So with this, you have the Shield Beast Helmet, 120k armor, 118,000 anomaly power, 9.8% close range damage, and 16.2% cooldown reduction. Every percent of shield increases anomaly power by 1%. So if you have 100% shield, I believe you're going to get 100% anomaly power. I don't know if they've capped it. But you'll see this is apocalypse stuff because it has three mods. You've got Strong Twist, Body Count, and Aura of Force. Then the next part is the gloves, and they have 105k armor. You can see the attributes underneath. They have 39k max health, 9% close range damage, 4.3 skills life leech. Again, they have three mods. You've got anomaly cut, cut them deep, and twisted fate. And if you look at anomaly cut, Venice's knife. Shots on enemies marked by the knife receive 2.1 million anomaly damage. Again, with the three piece bonus, is going to be the same because it's the same armor set. With the trousers, you have 103k armor, anomaly power, close range damage, cooldown reduction. Then you have eager edges, you have trophy and shield blast. Shield blast, a complete shield depletion triggers a powerful energy blast, dealing 7.8 million damage to enemies within a 5 meter radius. And then we have the foot gear, 101k armor, max health, close range damage, skills life leech. The mods are sharpening, hive cut and anomalic caliber. And if you look at sharpening, Venator's knife increases the skills damage by 700,000. Then if we flick through, Venator's knife on eager edges adds two more bounces during the ricochet path. Then anomaly cut, the shot on the marked enemy by the knife receives 2.1 million damage. And then they have stuff for twisted rounds. So three of the pieces, obviously you can change the mods around, but three of the pieces have stuff for Venice's knife. So it's going to make it really, really strong because you have three mods on each of these gear pieces. And then we have the weapons for this. You've got Final Penance. It's a double gun legendary. 1,053,000 fire damage or fire power. Crit damage, long range damage, skills life leech. And then if we have a look, you've got Mage's Rage, Anomaly Enhancement, and Ravenous Locust. If you take a look at Ravenous Locust, the shots create a swarm of locusts, dealing 14.2 million damage over 6 seconds and inflicting weakness. The swarm affects all enemies within a 6 meter radius of the target while it lasts. Then we have Lumberjack, a revolver. It's got 717k firepower, armor pierce, status power, healing received. Then you've got essence extractor, improved toxic bullets, and legendary minefield. If we have a look at legendary minefield, critical shots spawn explosives around your target. Each deals 2.3 million damage in a 5 meter radius. It's got a 3 second cooldown. I don't know why that's only 2.3 million. Obviously I don't know how many explosives it does deploy or spawn but it doesn't seem anywhere near as powerful as some of the other mods we've gone through. So hopefully there's a decent amount of explosives that spawn. And then last but not least for this one, we have the automatic shotgun Thunderclap, 1,045,000 firepower, crit damage, close range damage and healing received. Nicola's Revenge, shots link up to five enemies within a four meter radius around the initial target, dealing 4.8 million damage over two seconds to each of them, as long as the initial target is alive. Then you've got Storm Whip, which is going to bring down lightning on an enemy dealing nine million damage. And then you've got Concentration Blast, critical shots cause enemies to explode dealing 2.7 million damage multiplied by the maximum number of four enemies within a six meter radius around the original target 
So the damage numbers are going to be huge because of the item level being 75. And even though, like, I had a look at some gameplay, I think it was, and it just seemed really, really boring. But the damage numbers, having three mods, some of that stuff does actually make me a little bit excited to play this. And it does drop on June 30th. But what we're going to do is leave that video there. As I said, we've covered Devastator. We've now done Trickster. We'll then have a look at the Pyro and then Techno, I think, in that order. But that's going to do it for this one. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it.